<laughs> she's not here. <laughs> we're starting on Thursday, and the reason we're starting on Thursday is because it's Easter, and the office is shut tomorrow. Yeah. And we're going. We're going to an express. Well, we're it's apparently an express. We've never been before. Steakstone. 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 Steakstone in Villa Martin. Steakstone or Stone Steak? I think it's Steakstone. Anyway, we'll cover it. But basically, it could be, could be a, a stone snake. Yeah. Or a snake that's got stoned. It's a, it's a tomahawk snake. Yeah, we, we basically pre ordered a one and a half kilo tomahawk snake. It's supposed to be between two. Actually, it's more likely to be you and Kessler that's going to be happening. Yeah, it's going to be as old. So we've ordered one of those between, it's meant to be two really, so we've ordered one between four, but we're going to have another couple of dishes to go. Yeah. And then? There's a kangaroo, there's a venison, there's a crocodile, ostrich, ostrich, all sorts of strange And then also on... Yeah, we're going to do It's this year's Terra Natura. And then also on Saturday, we're going to a restaurant called Gong. Gong. Well, Which looks really good. Here, every day it's twelve ninety five. And it looks. Oh, the, the, it's gorgeous. It's a four course. It's new, I think. Anyway, have a good Easter. See you later. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. That's it, I'm done. That's the Ponto. Good times at the Oasis. Yeah. Where's it all gone? It's all gone. Extra large terrace, full safety. Um, mobility will be brilliant. So anybody with mobility will be able to come in here. It's all gone. Back. It's all gone. It's all gone. Please be careful of the sticky poles. If you can hear it's because it's windy and I've not brought the mic for a change. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is day 15. We've done this in 15 days, I think. Alright, so today's Thursday, just to give you an idea, it's the 1st of April. No April Fools. I don't think I've been up, uh, up in this corner before now, but here you can see the scope and just how clear it is. How open it is. This is going to be a fantastic space once it's sorted. And I don't know if we've mentioned it before, we may have done, you may not have seen it. The plans are up there, there's going to be at some point in the future, not straight away, there will be a roof terrace. So there'll be a rooftop bar and also there's potentially going to be a VIP area as well. We'll keep you posted on the uh, on the Oasis Facebook and also on the Oasis website as well on developments with that. Morning people. Okay. Is it morning? It is well, it's uh, 10 to 12, so yeah, it's, it's just, just morning. morning. It's just morning. They can't see Helen, she's there. Yeah. We're in. Morning. Uh, restaurant Campo Bello, the Italian, around the corner from the office. Yeah, they've just opened again. Um, if you look somewhere, there's a restaurant we're in view, which is probably the shortest ever. Yeah. Um, but they're open again. And this time they're doing takeaway, so they're open at the minute as per restrictions, which is I think they're open. They're, they're open, open from, the from morning, about ten or eleven. Yeah. So we're here now having a coffee, uh, and they're serving food from twelve till six, but then you can get takeaway from six until I think it's eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Yeah, the food is really good, so I'll give them a try. Yeah, they've got um, on the table as well. They've got a QR code, so you can get to the um, menu. get to the menu. I'm out. doing well today. Pizzas, <laughs> pastas, fish. Yeah. yeah, so what we'll do is, uh, in the description, I'll put a link to the menu so you can actually see what you can get. And give you give you an idea and, you know, if you're in the area, give them a bit of support. Yeah. Everybody needs it. Yeah. One thing to note, that they are shut at the minute on Sundays and Mondays. Which I think they always were shut on Sundays and yeah. Mondays. Yeah, bit of a bugger because we actually tried booking a table for tomorrow. No, for Sunday. Sunday. Here we are at Villa Martin Plaza. Have a look. Yeah, it looks, um, it's always been a really pretty place to come to. And down in the middle, at the bottom of the square there, quite often during the summer they'll have live entertainment and you can come sit and have a drink and watch some live music. There's lots of different bars and restaurants here. Luckily, it looks like, I mean, this is Easter 
Friday, Easter, Good Friday. Friday yeah. There's actually uh, yeah. a few bars and restaurants that look like they're open, which is a good thing. Especially considering not many people can come across at the minute. We can see where we're going to be. We've never been before. It's, it's actually steak stones, not stone steaks. And it's across there at the bottom on the ground floor. If you want something unique selling place in this point of this place is the Tomahawk steak. So if you fancy having a crack at that, I'd say come <laughs> along and give it a try. The fact that they do things like ostrich, kangaroo, Cro crocodile. crocodile. You know, if you want to try something like that, then you know, it's <coughs> one of those places where you can come and try it. The Phillips steak for this that was a nice thickness. Yeah, it looks good. This thick. And the sirloin steak looked a decent size as well. Yeah, the tomahawk was a really tasty steak yeah. actually. It, the fat on it and everything gave it some lovely flavour, didn't it? We've not decided if we're going to have a dessert yet or not. We'll see what they've got. Now, we've decided we're off the diet. We want a really nice dessert, so we're off to a restaurant, Punta Prima. Cheers. You'll be able to see in the past where we went to restaurant Punta Prima, we'll link it somewhere. And we're here, basically, myself and Bob's all the white chocolate mousse with passion fruit. I've ordered coconut panna cotta, which I loved last time. And Jessica's ordered... Chocolate wash cake, which comes with salted, salted caramel ice cream, I think. Yeah. Yours is nearly as much as a main meal. So it is a... <laughs> I suppose it was going to happen sooner or later. So I'm here just on the video, the camera's, the, the phone's on the desk and we've ordered the thing and the, uh, the waitress said, ah, I remember your last vlog, and she didn't serve us. Yeah, well, she didn't, she was a guy. Yeah. She says, we liked your last video. So... And she remembered Maddie like the... Uh, um, Orange mousse. <laughs> Hi guys. We yes. told you, Cheska, that these desserts are nice. Well, I'm sorry, but... Go on. How is it? Sorry, I'm just having a little try. Do I try you that? A, you can have a little try of mine. No, just try that. Try well, that. Do you want some of mine? No, try that. I still prefer mine. What is that? Like chocolate mousse. Like chocolate mousse. Yeah, try this one. Helen's gone for the coconut panna cotta. That's nice, that's well. They're all nice, aren't they? I prefer that. I'm sorry, but yeah. Hello, you glad you got that? Is it as good as you remember? Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we're not sharing this time either, are we? I have let Chess grab a little taste of mine, but anybody else trying, I'm going to stab you with my spoon. I didn't try the cake when I tried just because I just tried the chocolate. That is one of the bricks. That would be too much for me. It is very rich though, isn't it? Mm. It's really Which would it be? That or that? Oh, I think it's difficult. I think it's difficult that. I'd struggle to, to. I still prefer. I think that's heavier than that. Yeah, I'd still yes. prefer the coconut panna cotta. It's, it's nice Got some more of this, Jessica. Do you want to try some more of my? Um, it's nice and light and. Well, I'm, I'm a bit fun. Everybody has to say thank you, Helen. Yeah, it was her idea. Yes, thank you, Helen. For suggesting we come here for pudding because that was <laughs> superb. And yeah. I'm going to say something else. We've been spotted by, one, by the waiter that served us last time, so it's like it's the first time we've really been spotted. So it's a little bit <laughs> awkward, embarrassing, and yeah, unusual. It was brilliant. It's not the first time. So we went into into Abenera yeah, to we, see Maddie. Yeah, but we told us it was Maddie, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, don't forget, if you're in the area for a put and you want a pudding, it's just... Again. Yeah. Knocked it out of the ballpark, again. Saturday morning, and I'm squinting, and I can feel the sun burning through my mask. Happy days. It's a beautiful morning. Hi, Bob. We come for breakfast before we go to work. We're at Clear Flamenco now, walking to the commercial centre, but we've had to park about three miles away from it. Yeah. It's all good for your uh, steps. Isn't it, Dad? Yep. Now, we've not been here. We've, I've never eaten in here at all in any of the places. But I mean, Helen came here for drinks once after we went to, oh, a few years back, a rice restaurant, which now, uh, Salamiento Arrosaria, is now, well, the signs are gone, closed. We reckon they're going to bulldoze it and build on it. That and the side of the go-kart place. Now, this is another commercial centre that's on uh, a couple of different le levels.
we're in Grongs in the commercial centre at Playa Flamenco. Um, and the menu today is the chai menu, is what they call it. Now, as part of this, basically, I'll put the menu up. You can choose uh, from one with a combination of either pulled pork nachos or chicken cocoa salad. Uh, you've then got like a barrel bun or tie rolls or that sort of thing. And then you can choose either uh, a side, not a side, a dessert. And then, yeah, you can choose one of two desserts. Because it's the main course first and then the dessert. Well, it's because I go left to right. That, that, that. Yeah. And, then that. and you also get to choose a main. They also do a drinks package which includes basically a free flow wine, sangria, sangria or, or carver for, for 70, a fiver. For 75 minutes. First course of four. 11. This is fantastic. Up to now. If the rest of it's as good, then I'm going to be able to move with this place. Mm, that is absolutely like, mm, fantastic. What the hell is in that? Just a word of warning though for people that have got nut allergies. There are peanuts in everything. So in each one of the starters that we've got, they've got peanuts crumbled on top of it. So if you have got a nut allergy, just mention it to them when you walk in. But you've got a peanut allergy, and then I'm sure you could avoid that. Don't come. It's absolutely bloody awful. <laughs> so, so far, how many out of ten? Twelve. Twelve. Oh. Eighteen. I've got to say, I think it's one of the nicest um, restaurants we've been to. Oops, sorry, I'm just sticking the phone up, you know. I think it's one of the nicest restaurants we've been to for a long, long time. Up to oh, now. We've been to some good ones lately as well. Well, restaurant from Dupree was fantastic. Yeah. And this is completely different, but the flavours are just spectacular. I am so glad we came here today. I would come again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. In fact, I've just <laughs> told the the owner I'm moving in tomorrow. And she turned around and said, oh, I've got myself a new bloke. <laughs> but it's a nice one. It's, it's, if I serve it, it's bad to be nice. I mean, Only the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Easter Sunday, Sunday morning, look at the weather. Now I've come somewhere different for change, Helen's in the habaneras, she's doing a stint in there this morning. Uh, but I'm actually going to take us around Zocco Market. So this is the other one that's not too far from La Siesta and Torre Vieja that's on a Sunday. Typically we'll go to Lemon Tree Market, which you'll have seen in the past, or we'll put it in the description. You know, the links through to the different vlogs for the Lemon Tree. Um, and we'll have a look, see what it's like here compared to the Lemon Tree. Obviously, this is nearer for people that's in like Villa Martin, that sort of area, the Old Willa Costa. But most people that know anything, if they're going to go anywhere, they'll go to uh, go to the Lemon Tree. Having said that, I've not been to this market for a few years. Uh, and I think I've probably only been maybe three times in total at all. So we'll see what's there and let you have a look. One thing to note as soon as I walked in, the guy was, there was literally a guy there with the hand sanitizer spraying your hands and counting people in. So they're watching for the numbers of people that's in here. Let's have a look around. Fruit and veg looks quite good actually. There's not tend to be as much fruit and veg here at this market. We used to typically we'd call this a, a, a tourist market. First all I come to is an example, there's your tourist market.
coming in. Oh, Lucky Banner ordered the coffee and I'm waiting for a Criollo Cubano sandwich, which is basically a genuine Cuban sandwich with two types of ham, roasted pork, Swiss cheese, and pickle. Never tried it before, let's see how we get on. So there's two types of ham, pork on there, mustard, cheese. Strong taste of mustard and pickle, but what's all that? I'm not eating all of it. It was okay. Probably won't come back and have it again, but it was alright. So the service has been a bit slow. I gave him a 20 euros, 5.50. She gave me 50 cents change till I pulled her up. Won't come back. Last week we came to restaurant Manolo's. We did uh, a restaurant review, which plan is it'll probably get released onto YouTube today, but I'm just going in the vlog. You'll see at the bottom that they actually charged us when we went back when we were doing the editing we noticed that they charged us for three bottles of wine instead of two i mean it's no big deal it was like 720. we'll tell it as it is it could have been a genuine mistake you know they've apologized and said you know here's the money back for the bottle of wine which is fine i'm about to come back out here to sort that out it shouldn't have happened and likewise you'll see in this week's vlog and also coming up we've got some uh, restaurant reviews that we've done we joined a facebook group on Noella costa and we always try and be honest and we'll give unbiased reviews you know we'll say it as we see it if it's good it's great we'll tell you yesterday we went to gong restaurant at gong and i was phenomenal <coughs> shared a few of the video reviews the worst one was probably the video review we did of El Gallego, where we think they had a bad day, you know, an off day, which happens from time to time, and we put that. Consequently, it looks like I've now been removed from the group, and a lot of the posts that we've done have been removed as well. Which, you know, if you're trying to be unbiased, we, we've got no, no agenda, we're not trying to, you know, promote anybody over anybody else or anything like that, we just try and tell it as we see it, and give you guys, you know, the benefit of our experience of, of what we've done while we've been here. So, a little bit miffed at that actually, to be fair. I've sent a, a, a message to one of the admins, but I've not had a response. Whether I'll get a response or not, who knows? You know, it's probably uh, Facebook police. Had it been something that would have been derogatory or, you know, insightful or anything like that, I could understand it, but it wasn't. It was a, an honest review. And the amount of people that's commented saying, you know, thanks for the honest review, somebody being unbiased, etc., is great. Looks like their posts have been removed as well. I don't know whether they have either. So, just goes to show we'll always try and be unbiased and honest. Even though we've been, inv we've been invited to a place to do a review, we will still pay for it and everything else. And we won't tell them before we go there because at the end of the day, we want it to be unbiased. And that's just a few words from me. Oh, we've not really done anything this. It's Sunday already. Yeah, it's Sunday. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I've been at work all well, all morning and now I'm cooking dinner. She's been sat looking at Disney uh, menus. No, that's what you two's been doing. Well, no, you're you was at work. You've not got the dad in there, look. There we go. Hey, Bob. But while I'm thinking about it, just have a look at this. That'd be, um, that's a Sunday Crackling. dinner. Belly pork for dinner. You could have shaved it. Well, a bit of roughage would be a good. Morning, I've been to Zocco Market, which will be a bit of footage. Yesterday we went, was it yesterday? We went to Gong's, which was, that's a separate, going to be a separate review, but that was absolutely phenomenal. Bob got a new wife. Friday, good Friday, we went to a restaurant called Steak Stones and Villa Martin, which was okay. Thanks for your feedback. Thanks for your suggestions. It's coconut flour. What we, what are you making? Crumble. And what's going to be in the crumble? Coconut flour and fruit. And? That's it, what? Sugar. No, I'm it. What fruit is it? Well, oh, there's this pear off my tree. It's a shame to let them go to waste. They're just about dropping off. Yeah, I'm trying to think what this pear are. They, they, they look a little bit like small peaches, apricots. Yeah, I don't, but they don't taste like that. So in there is Nespero, strawberries and blueberries. And it smells blooming lovely. Hi Bob. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's killing himself. This is just a little word of warning for everybody. 
don't suck a menthol itis while you're wearing a mask because it goes up your it's nose going, and into it's your going into, no, it, it, it's going up the side of my nose as I'm breathing and into my eyes and my eyes are streaming <laughs> It's Monday, you can see where us two's dressed for work and... And Bob isn't. And Bob isn't. Bob's not. Well, Bob's I'm retired. i to have a look at the bar because I need to show an interest. You do. And... Because it's my daughter's. We've, we've been to work this morning, but to be quite honest, I think everybody everywhere else is closed and everybody thinks we're closed, so... It's... We've been at work for an hour and a half and we've shut shop up. We're going to go and do a bit of market research instead. <coughs> what I was actually going to say was today is a, a holiday. In Spain they have red days, blue days and green days. Red days is a national holiday, everything's shut. Ish. Today is not a national holiday. Today is... Um, local fiesta? It's not a local one, it's a regional one I think. A regional fiesta. So some places are open, some places are closed. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. Mercadona, we've just gone past, shut. But Habaneras and Carrefour are open. But it's Easter Monday. It is Easter Monday. So everywhere should be shut. It should be, but things they do things differently here, don't they? Yeah, it's a bit strange. You'd it, think it, it would be closed, being a, such a religious country. It's one of the things that you kind of get used to after a bit. So obviously the sign's gone. Showed that already. Concrete's down for extending the terrace. The wall is sort of putting up. See, from the entrance, and they're, they're trying to plan everything so that, you know, trying to cover as many eventualities as possible. So obviously the ramp's going to go up, so they're thinking of disabled access. We mentioned before that the plan is that uh, they're looking into getting uh, some equipment that will enable the less abled people to be able to get in and out of the pool as well. It looks like they've done some more lining on the pool looking at the colour because it's not dried out <clears throat> you can see the soundage has gone off the bar right here's something helen's just mentioned on site they can't be chopped up there are two olive trees that are planted they're very mature olive trees they're big i mean they're, they're cut back at the moment but they are old mature olive trees so if somebody wants them, you'll need some equipment to dig them out. Come and get them. Yeah, free to a good home, if anybody wants them. If not, they'll be staying here. But if somebody wants to come and pick them up, they're quite welcome. Just let us know if you are gonna if you want to do it. Yeah, send a message through Facebook or but through you, YouTube or whatever. But you will need a digger and a lorry to transport them on. Yeah, just a little bit big. But yeah. with age of them, they're worth a fortune. Yeah, they are worth quite a lot of money. That area there, Roughly, is where this pool bar is going to go, approximately. So we're having a nice leisurely walk in the sun, walking up to Carmen's. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be open because I'm not answering the telephone. Let's soon find out. Look at this weather. Okay. The reason why I didn't get a, an answer on the phone from Carmen's is it's shut. So it looks like Casimir. Every now and again you'll see that. There's a guy that comes on his horse Leaves the horse to graze. And uh, he gets another beer. How cool is that? Completely random, unexpected. We're in. Good to see Maddie, Maddie actually used to work here. She worked here for a summer season when she just left school. So at the moment we've, we've ordered a bottle of the house red wine between us. Uh, which is palatable, it's not fabulous, but it... Loves to Alicante. It'll do. Uh, but, I've just seen a, uh, a sign that says, Gin Menu. 
and on the gin menu they've got a rhubarb and ginger gin. Which so, is that is nice that one. I've so I've ordered the rhubarb and ginger gin and Schweppes slim, slim lime tonic. I'm looking forward to trying that. Now if you're wondering what Helen's doing, Helen's actually been sent WhatsApps. She's actually got proofs of the sign for the yeah. Oasis. I'm not sure yet though, we need to decide on it. Ah. And also the name of each bar inside the Oasis as well, because we're going to have five bars and each one's going to have a different name, so I'm just sending Carl some ideas and names for these, these bar areas. What did you order Helen? I've ordered cheesy garlic bread, which is like a calzone. They try this. Mm, that's one plate. So apparently this is homemade tomato and basil soup. It's alright. That tag me till it was. I, I enjoyed mine, it was nice. It worked, absolutely. <coughs> yeah, I still think yours was possibly the better yeah. of the three. Yeah, they, everybody liked my Cajun chicken one. They were really creamy, the, the chicken was I was talking about it being moist, it was lovely of Very slim. They were a tiny little bit of it weren't over spicy, but you could just feel a little bit of spice on your lips. Um, it needed a little bit of salt, but that's good, like Andy said, because a lot of places here in Spain over salt things, whereas you can add, but you can't take away. Yeah. We'll be rolling down the hill back to uh, El Chapo we towards the office. Down, yeah. For the record, I'm going to say that dessert is one of those where you could eat it and eat it and eat it until you were sick. And then carry on eating it again because it was <laughs> that good. We haven't had the bill yet, so but it's a thumbs up from me. It's a two thumbs up from me. And me too. Kind of two, I'm on the camera. As you can see, the buses, it's on a local bus route around here as well. I know! It's empty, don't go long! You closed, aren't you? Closed. We were coming to do a dining Wednesday, with you. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. Perfect Sunday lunches. Yeah, we'll like be yeah. back. See you later. Thank you. How many times can we get spotted in one weekend? It's, it's been quite good this weekend, actually, <laughs> <to> being spotted, yeah. <laughs> now, this is a little bit of a... Nostalgia. Yeah. Nostalgia trip for Bob. So, it's up there. Bob's old house. You'll see the name on it, Casa Madilu. So this is a, another bit of uh, nostalgia. Up there is where Helen used to live. That's where you lived when I first came across, wasn't yeah. it? Homemade curry. Well, I think on video for you guys to watch this week from the back catalog if you're interested um, go and have a look at the island of Tabarka not the short one the, the full length uh, Tabarka Island one first time we went absolutely cracking we will be back boats permitting there this year great really good